When laying out your pages in InDesign, if you want to create columns of text, for instance, you can set up a series of non-printing margin and column guides in your document. In order to learn about margins and columns, you'll add several column guides to a document to more easily create a page layout. If you want to follow along, you can open this file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Now in this document, the content is going to be arranged in a few columns, text in one column on the left and this graphic in the other. To do that, you could simply drag and resize the content on the page. You could create page guides, or you could change the margin and column guides for the page to help you out. On this page, you'll see these pink and purple lines. There are the margin guides, or guides that frame your content and determine the space between the content and the edge of the page. They're there for different reasons, like to remind you to keep content away from the edge of the page if you're printing on a desktop printer that can't print to the edge of the page, or for more white space. To set the margin and column guides, choose Layout, Margins and Columns. In the dialog box that appears, make sure that Preview is selected so you can see the changes happen. Know that the changes you make will currently only affect the page showing in the document window. If you wanted to apply these changes to all the pages in a document, for instance, you could go to a master page and change the margins and columns there. You can adjust the margins on your page independently by turning off this Make All Settings the Same option. That way you could add a larger margin at the top of the page to account for a header, for instance. Leave the margins at their defaults. In the case of this page layout, two columns will be used. So change the number of columns to two to see the effect on the page. Column and margin guides are non-printing and are there to be used if you need. Notice that the text frame didn't move or change when you change the columns. Setting columns like this can be done after content is added or before. Usually it's easier to set these before content is on the page. Now the gutter value is the distance between the columns and can be a great way to add more spacing between the column guides. Set the gutter value to 0.25 by clicking the arrow here, then click OK. With the selection tool selected, Click the text to select the text frame. Then drag the lower right point down here to make it so it fits within the first column. Then drag the image group off the right edge of the page into the top of the second column. Click in the text again. Drag the text frame down to flow this overset text or text that won't fit in the frame into the second column. Click the red plus in the out port of the text frame and release the mouse button. Move the pointer into the second column and click on the left edge of the column to flow the rest of the text. Now that you know how to set up margins and columns for your InDesign projects, it'll be easier to create columns of content and also to frame your content. Try experimenting on your own with different content by creating multiple column brochures, flyers, magazine layouts, and more.